All right, guys, this is a video for our FK PSD pistol part two. We did the video earlier and we talked about how there is this five ounce tungsten weight in the front here. That's why it looks so weird. This whole big blocky shape is because it has to conceal this big blocky tungsten weight in the, in the front of it. I think it actually goes this way. It's, it's a proprietary part it's supposed to dampen the recoil a bit. Sure, it's gotta help, it's five ounces. Uh, but how much does it really help? Can we figure that out? A friend of mine made a 0 0.3 ounce 3D printed replacement. So I've already got this up here. We're gonna start with the nine millimeter because if anything breaks, we want it to be on the low pressure nine millimeter, not the crazy high pressure 7.5 FK. We're gonna shoot on the high speed camera and just see what we can see. See if we see any discernible difference. And this video is made possible by our friends over at Vetter Holsters. Go check them out for inside the waistband, outside the waistband, mag holsters, tuckable holsters, belts that are nice and rigid because you know you need that for a good holster foundation. They only have a two to three day turnaround. A lot of holster companies can't do it that fast. These guys do and check out the color options. I was floored. I'm going to be ordering me one of the camo pattern holsters because they just looks too stinking cool. So check them out vetterholsters.com. All right, nine millimeter with our little 3D printed weight. This is a very low charge, so it may not even cycle all the way in the first place. Let's see. All right, on camera. Oh, yep. Let's see here. Oh, neat, you still see a little shockwave in the target. Okay, my front sight looks like it bucked up about one inch in total and it actually shoved the empty cartridge back into it just because these are low power i knew that would happen we knew it happened last time so that's not to blame the gun it's just well we'll use some hotter loads after we do this same wimpy load but with the actual tungsten weight <laughs> okay we got the idea for the camera Okay, it looks about the same, but we'll have to put it side by side to really tell a difference. Nine millimeters just to make sure we don't break the gun. So here's our side by side. The white line is the bore axis beforehand, and now we have our comparison. Eight degrees, both of them. I mean, with the top of the muzzle flip, it was ear immeasurable. We've done this before with compensators and we could see a definite difference, very consistency. Now here's something interesting. The tungsten went back into battery beforehand. 3D plastic takes its time. Could just be because of that round hiccup. Uh, could also be because of the drag of the, the 3D weight, which wasn't a weight. But I get back on target faster with the same line of bore on the plastic one. So there's our comparison, nothing. Let's forget 10 millimeter. Let's jump up to 7.5. It didn't break, who cares? Let's go full power, that's what this is for. This is with the tungsten weight. So we have something before we blow something up. Wow! <laughs> when you compare it to a nine millimeter though, that is so powerful and so much fireball. Wow, that's a good jump. But at least it cycles on 7.5 instead of those tiny nine millimeter loads we're trying to use. That front sight jumps at least three inches. This is definitely something we'll have to take a frame by frame almost and see if, see if we see a difference, considerable distance with the non-weight on it. That's fun though. All right, this is the plastic weight. This is when stuff can blow up. We'll try for three shots. I felt the power. I can't tell. I, you know what? I should do side by side. If, now we think of that. But my hands are different too, so maybe not. That's a bit of muzzle flip. If I had to guess, I would say when we put these side by side, we're going to see a little bit difference just because of that muzzle flip was quite flippy. We'll call it flippy. All right, so this is our side-by-side -side comparison, and boom, we have liftoff. When you check it out, the top 3D plastic is recoiling, what is that, about 22 degrees, and then the lower one, 19. So we're getting about a three degree decrease in recoil muzzle flip with the tungsten weight. Here's the interesting part though. This plays back with the same frame rate, and I get back on target faster with the 3D plastic. Doesn't mean much, but it could mean something. 
Now we're going to boom again and get roughly the same reading, although on both firings you see that I have better recoil control on both, and I've seen that before. So we're reading at 19 with the no weight at 3D plastic, and we are reading at 16 with the tungsten, which is just so consistent of just a 3 degrees decrease in muzzle flip. Pretty neat, but is three degrees in decrease of muzzle flip really worth that five ounce tungsten weight and that really bulky dust cover? I don't know, but it's kind of, it's different. So there you go. If you want to see something that's really different and really measurable, go check out when we did the same thing with the 50 AE Desert Eagle without the uh, muzzle brake. You get a 30 degree flip, okay? With the muzzle brake, you get a 20 degree flip. So for comparison's sake, that's a 10 degree decrease in muzzle flip with a muzzle brake. So that tungsten weight, hmm, not nearly as effective as a nice compensator at the end. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope this wasn't too technical and boring for you. I just like interesting stuff now and again. Remember to check out the full videos, like, subscribe, topshotdustin.com, all that good stuff. Okay, I love you, bye bye. Did you see that? Hey, come on, Nasi. Come on, Nasi. Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah.